Hello and welcome. I'm Susan Bruck, and today I want to share with you another um, mindful moment, a simple mindfulness practice that you can bring into your daily life. Today, I will share with you the power of taking three deep, relaxing breaths. Pretty simple, right? Uh, in my last mindful moment, I shared with you my mantra. Uh, well, it's not exactly a mantra, but my saying, there's always room for pie. And pie stands for pause, inhale, exhale. Um, this is a simple mindfulness practice that I taught myself when my daughters were little. I realized that I was too quick to react or often overreact to what they were doing. So I taught myself to just pause and take one deep breath before I did anything. And it really helped me to transform my stress level and my relationship with my daughters. And it, it took some practice to actually get it to be a habit, but it really, it really did help. Um, but it wasn't until my girls were actually all grown up, they still are all grown up, um, that I learned that about taking three deep breaths um, and taking three deep breaths has been scientifically proven to shift your body and brain chemistry and to lower your stress levels, uh, improve your focus, increase your productivity. So um, I like to do this in addition to meditation. I just have been meditating for over 30, not, not for over 30 years, but have had a meditation practice for over 30 years. Um, but this is a great practice to do all by yourself or as a way to find yourself, you find your way into more mindfulness practices. So um, let's do it together. Take three breaths. Before we do though, just take a moment to notice how you feel. Uh, notice how you feel in your body, your mind, your emotions. Okay, so let's do this. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, that's it. So notice if you feel any different now. I do, I actually feel calmer and more centered um, so, and I also just wanted to tell you that there are a few things that you can, can add to your three breaths, pie a la mode, if you will. Um, I'll just share a couple of them today and, um, I'll share a few more another time. So one of my, one of my favorite things to do when I do this or when I just when I'm meditating, I also use this. I just put my hand over my heart. It's not my physical heart. I put my hand in the center of my chest, like where the heart chakra would be, and just put it there. And it helps me draw my attention to my heart and back into my body as well. So, so that's one. And then the other thing that I like to do is just to focus on my feet. I, you don't have to look at your feet, but you can if you want, or you can even touch them. But just to bring your attention down to your feet, because I find that um, when I get overwhelmed or stressed or anxious or all of the above, I, I kind of fly away from my body. I mean, obviously not literally, but my I just don't feel, I'm not aware of my body. I'm just so in my head. So, so just taking a moment to find your feet or place your hand over your heart or both. Um, can can also help with these three breaths, but the three breaths by themselves are enough also. And um, if this practice appeals to you, I just wanted to mention one more thing. You might want to have some kind of a visible reminder around to help remind you to do this because I know for me when I was first doing my one breath practice, it just, I didn't always remember. You probably won't always remember either um, but visual reminders can be really helpful. It can just be a, 
a post-it note that says take three breaths or three breaths. Uh, it could be a chime or a bell if you have one around, a mindfulness box. I, I don't really know what a mindfulness box is, but that sounds pretty fun. I'll figure out that one. But just any kind of visual reminder that will help you to remember to pause and take three breaths. Um, and you might want to have them in several different I have this reminder or some kind of reminder in several different places where you might need it, like your kitchen, your car, your bathroom, your living room, any, wherever it is for you. So that's it for today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear how this works for you. Thanks so much for listening and I'll see you next time.